Hey guys, it's me, Sean Karbanda. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. For all the iOS viewers out there, have you ever had this problem where your iOS device suddenly drops the battery percentage? If you experience this problem, let me just tell you this. This is not an actual problem with your physical battery, but instead it's a problem with your iOS device's software. So I'll be showing you guys seven simple and fast solutions which will solve this battery issue of your iOS device and will make your battery life much better. Also make sure to watch the entire video as I will talk about which tip is the best and the most efficient. So these 7 tips that I just about to show you will definitely help increase your battery life and you might even get a brand new iOS device experience. Now before we get started, subscribe to my channel for the best tech tips and solutions. Press the notification bell so you know when I release my next video, drop a like and share this video with friends and family as this helps me out a lot. And you can also connect with me on Instagram at jishk11 and now let's get started. Alright guys, so before I show you guys the 7 tips for saving your iOS device battery life, I would just like to talk about 99% of the time, if your iOS battery suddenly drops, it's not an actual problem with your physical battery, but instead it's a problem with your iOS device's software. But there's still a 1% chance that there's a problem with your physical battery and it may need replacement. And if that's the case, then the 7 tips that I'm just about to show you will basically be useless and have no effect on your iOS battery life. So to check if your battery needs a replacement, what you want to do is go to settings and then scroll down to the battery and then click on battery health. And here you're gonna find where it says maximum capacity. This is basically showing how much actual battery can your iPhone has or your iOS device has. And if there's any battery percentage below 85%, I recommend you to replace your battery from an Apple certified location. So the first tip that I'll be showing you guys to save battery for your iOS device is to turn on low power mode. Low power mode basically reduces some visual effects, stops the background app refresh, and stops mail fetch, and stops any other features which take up a lot of battery on your iOS device. To turn on low power mode, there's two ways to do it. If you're on the iPhone 10 or later, swipe down from the top of the screen, and if you have the battery assigned here, just click on it, that's low power mode. If you're on the iPhone 8 or before, just swipe up until you see the control center, and then just click on the battery sign if you have it. If you don't have the battery sign there, you can go to settings, scroll down to battery, and click on low power mode, toggle it on. And if you want to learn how to just put the battery sign into the control center, just go to control center, customize control, and then turn on low power mode here. So the next tip I'll be showing you guys to save your battery life for your iOS device is to remove all the unnecessary widgets you have on your iOS device. So to do this, you want to just swipe left to all the way until you reach the home screen. Scroll all the way down to where you see the edit button, click on it, and then just remove all the unnecessary widgets you have. So for example, I'm just music, um, the map destinations, and Siri app projection, and click done. Okay, so the next tip that I'll be showing you guys Excuse is me, to boss, turn off you have a text message. applications which you do not need to be alerted about. Notifications can be helpful for sometimes for certain applications such as messages, but are unneeded for certain applications that you rarely use. Notifications means that the application has to be constantly running in the background to see if there's any new notifications that it should notify you about. And this is not needed for applications which are rarely used. So turn off notifications for apps that you do not need. All you have to do is go back to settings, and click on notifications right here and you can see all the apps which have notifications off and on so for example i can see i do not want notifications for wallet so i can just turn off notifications entirely or i can keep one of them on and definitely turn off sounds as this is unneeded but i'll just want to turn notifications off entirely and you can just customize the notifications but do remember turn off notifications for apps that you rarely use so the next tip that I'm just about to show you is one of the most fastest tips and the one of the most efficient tips for saving battery life for your iOS device. And that is just to simply clear out all the apps which are actively running in the background as these take up a lot of battery for your iOS device. And to do so, all you have to do is swipe up from the bottom if you're on iPhone 10 or later or double click the home button if you're on iPhone 8 or before and just clear all the apps. And now this will free up a lot of battery space and you get a lot of extra battery. So the fifth tip that I'm just about to show you is to power off your iOS device at least once a week and let it cool down a little, just as you would do for a normal computer. So to power off an iPhone 10 or later, press the power button and press the volume up button until it says slide to power off and then just swipe right. And if you're on an iPhone 8 or before, 
All you have to do is press the home button and press the power button and hold it until you get that same slide to power off and swipe right. And same thing if you're on the older iPad. Okay, so the sixth tip is to make sure that auto lock is turned on. Auto lock is basically your iOS device will automatically turn off if there's an activity for a certain period of time. And if auto lock is not turned off, potentially your iOS device can be turned on until your battery runs out and this is not good. So to turn on auto lock, all you have to do is go to settings, scroll all the way to where it says display and brightness and tap on auto lock. And then here you will find some time periods. Time periods from one minute to three minutes are advisable, and I chose two minutes. So the final tip is to just make sure that your iOS device is between the temperatures of 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Because if you overheat iOS device, there's a possibility that your iOS device battery can be permanently spoiled. But if you go underneath 32 degrees Fahrenheit, your iOS device's battery won't be permanently spoiled, but it will drastically drain and that's not good. So just keep it between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 95 degrees Fahrenheit and you'll be all good. So now I'll be talking about the tip that I feel is the best and most efficient for saving battery life for your iOS device. And that is tip number three, turning off notifications for applications that you do not need. As stated earlier, notifications require the application for your iOS device to be constantly running in the background. And if that's the case for some certain apps which you do not need and you do not use at all, there's no need for having the notifications enabled. So just turn them off. There's no harm. And there you have it. You know seven different tips on how to save battery life on your iOS devices. And one tip which I feel is the best amongst all those seven. And if you found this video helpful, remember to smash that like button and tell me in the comment section below if you found one tip the best, or if you came across any problems in this tutorial, or if you know any other tips which are helpful in saving battery life. And stay safe, check out my previous videos which are linked on screen, especially this one right here, as it's really good if you want to download applications on your old iOS devices. And that's it for this video. Bye.